Hey YouTube, it's Fix It With Biscuit, and uh, hey, I got a fellow YouTuber, and um, he's trying to melt copper, and he built a propane torch, like similar like this, but different specs and stuff like that, and um, he couldn't melt the copper. He couldn't get it hot enough. I'm not sure, you know, um, what the deal is or whatever, but it struck me because I wanted to to do the same thing. I've been wanting to melt copper for a while. As you can see, I got some real long copper pieces there and a whole bunch there. And then I have a whole bunch of uh, fittings and stuff like that that I've been piling. And this is my burner. And um, this here is a uh, three quarter uh, black iron pipe. This here is a three quarter to inch and a half I do believe that that's what that is, is inch and a half. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, there, and inside here, I can't get it apart, or I'm not going to try anyways. Inside here, there is a pipe uh, plug. It's uh, brass, and I have a hole drilled through it. I think it's a 57 drill bit. It's either 57 or 52, right in there. But anyways, um, I got no uh, choke, air choke or anything on this. I don't need it. But I just wanted to see if I could melt copper. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the old crucible and uh, give her a go. So I'm going to put you guys on hold here and uh, get this baby fired up and get some copper pieces and we'll see what happens. Well, we got it in the forge, and uh, we got a piece of uh, <laughs> copper in there. It took me a minute to think about that. Duh, duh, duh. And uh, we're going to see, see if we can melt it. I don't know if we can. It might not just been him, but we got her turned up pretty good. I'm hoping we can melt it. My brick's starting to smoke. <laughs> I think there was some oil, some oil on that brick. So, alrighty, well, we'll be back and see. Right after I turned the camera off, that piece of copper fell down in there, so it's, uh, Melting. Let's grab some more and drop in there, I guess. So.
melted all the way, but it's getting there. So I'll be back for the pour. Well, I threw some more in there. quiet huh <laughs> anyways it's still staying really really red uh, I have no clue how long that's gonna stay red for it's burning the old uh, asphalt there but uh, we'll let these cool down and we'll be back and see what uh, they look like alrighty uh, don't pour copper into a muffin pan you will end up with the muffin pan stuck to your ingot. As you can see here, as soon as my phone focuses, if it will, come on, you can do it. There we go. You can see there's part of the cake pan, muffin pan, on it. But I got all of this copper is what I ended up getting all together. You know, these aren't that thick or whatever, but I I can melt copper. That's what this was. This was just a test. This wasn't how good of an ingot I could make or anything like that because these suck. But this thing is heavy. I mean, you know, it's got to be a a pound. I mean, it is really heavy. It is solid. Um, so I think what the thing is, is, um, whoops, sorry about that. My uh, fellow YouTuber there is, uh, his burner is just not working efficient enough to, um, heat up. Uh, what I got here is, like I said, that's a three quarter black iron pipe six inches long with a three quarter to one and a half inch bell a uh, quarter inch um, galvanized six inch uh, national pipe thread pipe uh, a quarter inch uh, female to female coupler and then a brass quarter inch of uh, plug with a 57 I believe it's a 57 drill bit drilled through it and this thing rocks I could have turned it up even more actually I didn't even have it turned up all the way so um, that's just I just want to do a video to well mainly to see if I could melt uh, copper that, mainly that's what I wanted to do was see if I could melt copper but just give him uh, a showing of what mine does and to give him an idea if he wants to build another one uh, the only difference is is I have that I don't know if you're gonna you know anybody else is gonna build it this way or not is this here I run a hose um, this is a barbecue hose or lantern hose or whatever and that's what I use because I like this nozzle here I can turn it up 
and that's just a little bit of gas escaping and I can fine tune it really good instead of that's a this is a needle valve so it seats down and goes down and seats down and closes it it's not a ball valve to where it just opens a little bit and it seeps by no this one unscrews and it comes up the farther you unscrew it the farther it comes up so I just that's what I had and that's why I built it that way not that I preferred over anything but now that I have it that way I really really like it actually so this is just a little video showing that uh, I can actually melt copper I'm really surprised I really didn't think I was gonna be able to after watching his video and I'll leave a link in the description below um, to his channel I'm so sorry I off the top of my head right now I cannot think of the channel name but uh, I will give him a plug there to where you guys can check his stuff out he's a, he's a real good guy so uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned